Hi, I'm Steve Copnell from Alec Mowers. Today I'm going to show you the Uplift 86, 34 or 860 millimetre wide twin bladed rotary mower. Designed by Alec for debris collection, also offering a quality cut and finish. Popular in stadiums, schools and other large maintained areas. The Uplift 86 is an upgrade on the RM34 rotary mower. This machine has been built on experience gained and feedback from groundsmen. These updates include solid front wheels, a heavy duty clutch brake system, a self tensioning drive chain system, a robust rear roller and bearing protection. So this machine utilises two 18 inch blades uh, with high lift fins which are contra rotating making it ideal for lifting debris and clippings with a central discharge chute for expelling the uh, material quickly straight into the grass bag. The Uplift 86 utilises a Briggs & Stratton engine uh, for its power and reliability. It has a 1.1 litre unleaded capacity fuel tank. The reinforced handlebars of the Uplift 86 make it a well balanced machine making it very responsive and easy to manoeuvre. The height positions of these handlebars are easily adjustable from midway and some bottom adjusters on the machine. This lever here is for starting the engine so we put that into the hair position and like I said earlier, it's either maximum revs or we are off. So we put that to maximum revs, pull the coil on the engine, and then to kill the engine, we just bring that uh, lever back. The controls of this machine are very simple, making it very easy for the operator to use. This bail bar here is for the rear roller drive. As we bring that bail bar up, we call it the feather drive system. So we bring that up slowly and that will begin to take up the roller drive until we've got full contact there against the handle. If you want to turn or to slow down, you can just release that bail bar and that will then decrease the power to that rear roller. The operator presence lever here, we bring that up to the handle that will then allow us to bring in the over centre lever here for the rotary blade engagement. Bringing that over will engage the rotary blades. If we let go of the handlebars at any point while they are engaged it will cut out the engine completely. This machine is fitted with a 5 speed gearbox. We have neutral and then gears 1 to 5. 5 is more of a transport speed with a maximum speed of 4.2 miles per hour. Uh, for really good collection and cut you want to be in gear 3 or 4 uh, but in wet conditions you could be as low as gear 2 and 1. The Uplift 86 has a 90 litre capacity grass bag. In that 90 litres you can have up to 40 kilos of wet grass. So when it is half full ideally you want to be emptying at that point. It's manufactured from a mesh fabric. The idea of that is because the amount of air that's coming from the machine you want to expel that as quickly as possible to get the best out of the performance out of the machine. So it's always best just to keep that mesh clean after every use. The grass bag is very simple to fit. We literally lift the flap from the machine, place that through the handle and then two locators locate onto the back of the machine. Another feature of this machine is a 34 inch professional heavy duty rear roller. It's split into three sections with a differential so making it very easy to turn on the turf without making any marks in it digging in. Optional extras of the Uplift 86 include the front brush. This is available in three options with a soft, a medium or a hard bristle. The soft is mainly for removing dew from the surface while the medium and the hard bristle will really enhance the stripes and the performance of the machine. It does this by breaking up any surface or lower debris helping the collection. And this can be adjusted by raising or lowering the brush to be more or less aggressive. Improvements for the operator also include the self-tension in chain drive and also the self-tensioner for the belt drive as well for the clutch. So less adjustments and maintenance for the operator. The uplift is also fitted with a parking brake, uh, ideal for transporting or if parking on any slopes or gradients. So we lift the tension spring and then we locate it onto the machine. 
The height of cut on the Uplift 86 makes it a very versatile machine with heights ranging from 15mm to 75mm and that's infinitely variable with micro adjustment. When setting the height of cut it's always best to do it on a nice solid flat surface and we do that by these adjusters and we've got one each side. We release this locking collar and then down at the front which is new to this machine we've got an over centre lever which basically locks all that front system. Once that's released, we then release both sides. With this hand wheel, clockwise or anti-clockwise, we'll raise and lower that height of cut on the indicator. Once we are happy with the height we've, uh, we've selected, we lock the adjuster on both sides, and then we repeat the same on the other side again. The uplift is supplied with a prop stand, which is located onto the lower handle loop. Uh, this is for uh, propping up the, uh, the front of the machine when cleaning out under the deck and can also be utilised to clear any obstructions from the chute itself but always ensure that the machine is turned off when doing so.